Um, my name is Ira. Uh, I forgot that I told you um, that I would update you on what it was like going through the airport um, post op. Um, when you go, when you go to the airport, I always go to the airport two hours before the departure time, um, just because of the time for like complications and time to get food if you're hungry, uh, time to go to the bathroom. I pee a lot, so. Um, but okay, so when you go in, you have to go. The first thing you do is you you check in, so you get, so you can get rid of your bag and get your boarding pass. Um, I recommend to save on money, bringing two small carry-ons instead of one big check-in bag, which is what my friend and I did um, to save money. If you think that you're gonna have to bring a check-in bag regardless, um, then share one bag because uh, they're gonna charge you for more than, if you have more than one bag anyway. Um, so, um, for Frontier Airlines, which is how we got there, uh, they charge $20 for a check-in bag, um, and for American Airlines, which is how we got back, they charge um, $25 for a check-in bag. Uh, so yeah, when we check in, I just um, I just said, like, hey, I had surgery a couple days ago, I was wondering if I could get a wheelchair escort. You don't even have to say that you had surgery, just ask, I, can I get a wheelchair escort? Um, but if, if you want to share that information, you can. Um, and so the person said, yeah, we had to wait like a long time for wheelchair for some reason. I guess it was like especially busy for wheelchairs that day. Um, but yeah, so uh, your your caretaker, or your, you know, your friend, is going to have to carry everything for you. Um, you're not going to be able to carry your own bags or anything like that. So having a wheelchair it, um, makes it easier on them because then you can carry your bag in your lap because um, you're not actually holding that weight with your arm, um, which is what I did. Um, a person that works at the airport, or for that airline rather, is going to have to push you in a wheelchair. Uh, it seems that like that's just policy, or at least it is for American Airlines. Um, and then when you're on the plane, uh, I just would talk to um, a flight attendant because that's what me, like Christian and I did. We just talked to the flight attendant saying, hey, I was wondering if there was a wheelchair escort uh, waiting for me at the airport when we land. And they can check on that for you. They'll ask for your last name. Uh, and 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 so like there was always one there for me, like the person at the check-in counter set it up so that every time I landed, there was gonna be a wheelchair escort uh, there for me because we had a layover. Um, and so, which is nice, especially if you're perhaps maybe like running late because you can't run, but the person pushing you can run. <laughs> uh, so it was, uh, it was really cool. And also because like after, after getting the bandages taken off, I don't know what it is, but like, I think I had just gotten used to being down all the time. Um, that one week, and so after taking them off, I was just really tired. It was really exhausting, especially if you're flying back that same day. Like, I was I was incredibly exhausted the entire time. I'm tired right now. Like, I'm, I have less energy now than I did last week. Um, and so, yeah, it's definitely possible. I know some people, what they recommend, because I was really paranoid about people bumping into me. Um, I recommend not sitting in the aisle. I sat in the aisle anyway because I pee a lot, and I don't want to have to climb over people. Uh, um, but, like, I had, I had, like, people climbing over me that were in the window seat without, like, who didn't for some reason want to say excuse me, um, when they were trying to get out, um, and then I had people, like, I got hit with a couple suitcases, and people just bumped into me a lot, like, and I'm small, I don't have, like, a big frame either. So it's not like I was sitting in the aisle with my arm or whatever, like I'm tiny. Uh, so I don't know, um, just keep that in mind. It might be best to sit in like the middle seat. Um, that way, like if you have to go to the bathroom, you only have to climb over one person. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and then uh, but then you won't get bumped into by anyone. I wasn't hurt or anything. I was just really nervous about that happening, which is why I got a wheelchair escort. Um, and it was really good. It worked out really well because I was, like I said, I was really exhausted. Um, I know some people who like 
me feel uncomfortable doing that. And so uh, what I've heard suggested is that like you bring a sling with you so that way it externalizes the fact that you're in pain. <laughs> um, and so then like that way people will be careful around you and like not like will be conscientious of like not bumping into you. Uh, whereas like for me that that like once the wheelchair was was taken away, you know, I didn't have that um, that security. The nice thing about having a wheelchair escort though is that you get to board the plane first. Um, and so and they will take you all the way up to the plane doors. So it's cool. Um, and and you also get to like meet really cool people and have really cool conversations. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, and so yep, that's pretty much it in terms of like plane rides. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't have any updates post op. I guess I'll show you my chest though. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm really tired for some reason. I didn't pass out this time, so that's good. Um, this video is probably taking a really long time. But yeah, it seems like right here, now that you can see through the bandages, but it seems like right here, it's like more swollen today than yesterday when I took off the dressing. It looks like the areola may have had some blood on it, which is not like, it's not unexpected. Um, cause it's basically a big old scab. Uh, and yeah, the, these things are kind of starting to fall off a little bit, which is also expected, and also I'm like less bloated from the anesthesia, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have any questions or if there's anything that you want me to like take into account or think about or talk about, uh, just let me know. Um, I, I'm surprised to be like more exhausted the second week of post-op than the first week of post-op. So that might be something that you want to think about. Um, it's like right now I'm really tired <laughs> and I think I'm going to go back to sleep even though I just woke up. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.